Mr. Machete, Snoop Dogg. Hey, Mr. Machete, young Snoop Dogg. What you just wake up from? What you just wake up from, there, buddy? Show. 
But nevertheless, man, tell all the good time gang around up your way, man. I said hello and how to do you, man. But Lord knows I'm glad you come to my radio this morning and cleaned it up like you do, because ain't nothing in the way of you. BBI, big balls over here and a big horn in my easy chair. I'm leaning back. Well, I would have thought for sure that I would have had some, uh, <clears throat> a little bit of competition coming off the West Coast. I heard 63 was out there. I heard 766 was out there. Heard a I, man, I heard a lot of people were out there on the coast. That's why I wasn't a little bit too sure which way Mother Nature was going to roll, but when I fired down, you come right back like we were on at 21. Hey, big boss. It is what it is, and it's all about that peak power. Just sitting here cruising 10 bushels, swinging forward, loafing it with my feet up on the table. Big old giant seven element beam above my house got down. Hey, BBI. Look at you, man. That's all you needed on that count making in. Them boys talking in Mississippi. And uh, when you pause, I hear them back there sounding like Daffy Duck on that end. Can't tell which one or who it is. <laughs> That's what's going on over here. Hey, BBI, keep on with it. Keep it on. You got that damn hammer down. Come on. My words there in the background singing like David Doug is what you said. But I tell you, I, man, I, you've got to be on some Collins equipment or something because this sounds like you are sitting in the room with me. I cannot wait for you to hear this gate. I'll put it up on YouTube tonight. I cannot wait for you to hear this gate. It sounds literally like you are sitting in the room with me. I don't know what you got going on over there, but don't touch it. <laughs> it sounds amazing. While you were talking, I was texting my big buddy there, Prime. See if we can get that joker to get on the radio today, too. That'd be kind of cool. Here, hold on one second. Yo. Duck Plucker. Get on the radio. <laughs> on the radio. Let's see if we can get him to wake up. Hey, big boss, what you think about that? BBI got down. Right. You get that cat big to wake up, man. <laughs> well, you show sure right, man. Hey, BBI, you said it right on that cat big it is. <laughs> I don't need to say it because you already said it on that cat big it is. So you know what time it is on that cat big it is. Why work this broadcast station this week? Right, BBI, it's your good time to see if your little brother over here with this broadcast station in the big star is getting down. you homeboy I sat there and slow keyed I wanted to see definitely what was going on in your background and it's silence brother it's duck duck and silence in the background well, let's roll this carrier on up here a little bit hey big boss does that make any difference in your receive hey big boss I said did that make any difference in your receive coming up 10 whole bushels BBI be a nosy breaker. Hey, BBI. Yes. Brother, you were standing all by yourself. All of a sudden, I got $5 radio up in my receiver. Stroking it and seeing what he can put out there on the airwaves. Well, hello, Mr. $5 radio. I'll put the wave right back to you. Your friend way up here in the corner. I got to pull back here in just a minute, but I thought I would let it know. Hey, Big Boss, it's a pleasure putting on you for the last 10, 15 minutes. I appreciate it, my friend. This little mud duck in the corner. With transmit studio audio got down. Hey, 
say, hey, 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 no, 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 Gatekeeper, 
where you go, gay people? Hey, B.I., J.I.B. Where you go, where you go, B.I., J.I.B. Hey, B.I., my friend, B.I., J.I.B. Virginia, 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 Virginia. I'm just sitting right here, Jailbird. I'm just sitting here looking at my radio. I ain't got the best mother nature, man. I only got everybody at about 15, 20 dB. But I'm sitting here talking anyhow. Now, I know my big brother, my teacher, my mentor, my best friend, 600 miles behind me, is out there talking too. I was trying to figure out where he was talking, Jailbird. But I heard you all up in my radio, so I thought I'd fire down and put it back your direction. Jailbird, this big old monster in the corner looking at you. Who got the big monster in the corner? Who in the world got that big monster in the corner? Four zero zero one in Washington D.C. Who in the world got that Zero, zero, one. You're talking to the largest air-cooled amplifier this side of the Mississippi. B. B. I. Got down. You don't know the power of the dark side. Well, right here, right back, mighty fine with that. Oh, man, they got a little bit rough and tough, man. But Lord have mercy, you got some big numbers in Washington, D.C., my friend. You came back with your 28, you said something about the biggest station, but Lord have mercy, it got a little bit rough and tough, but I'm going to bump it down one more time, and I'm going to say 4001 in WDC, the Omega with the great big eagle, and Washington, D.C. just got down. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, 4001, I'm just going to bump it back. I'm going to bump it back your direction and put the wave at you, homeboy. It's BBI, Box Builder in Idaho, bro. And yeah, we're talking a little bit out of Mother Nature, but I'm sitting here stretching this big old giant piece of steel I got over in the corner. Like I said, the largest single tube air cooled amplifier on this side of the United States with the wave right back to you, Brigga. The largest, you said the largest. It sounds real good in my receive, no doubts about it. I'm going to have to say break a 1 9. You got my radio tore up from the floor, up, my friend. I bump it down on your radio. Real good copy. I just heard you in there. I just want to bump it down one time and let you know what time of day it is. 4001, working this great big team. Jimmy on the low side just got down. Let's try this again. Hello, people. Hello, Mr. Zero, zero, one. I just want to let you know I was slow key and I wanted to see who was coming in behind you, brother. There's a couple big old monsters out there trying to roll off the, off the East Coast trying to get up on the gate for today. And I wanted to see what was going on behind you. Well, 4001, brother, you're having a, a great talk show in my receive here today. You're sounding good, man, standing all by yourself. But once again, like I said, we're only sitting here talking on 20S units of skip. But dude, you are sounding good. So flowers to you, my friend. And I appreciate you putting a wave at me out of the great state of Washington, D.C. <laughs> the Commonwealth, anyhow it is. 4001. BBI, the landlord of the Northwest, got down. Working it in the Northwest. You working it in the Northwest. I'll see you, 4001. Somebody slid in there with a good old sliding VFO yelling at Prime Minister, called himself Jimmy. <laughs> I think you might be acquainted with him. Just took out my radio, so control. 
But he was calling Prime Minister and he wasn't yelling at me, so I'm not going to hoop and holler for him. Hey, 4001, brother, you have a good day, man. Appreciate you. B. B. I. Got down. You don't know the power of the dark side. Hey, B. B. I. I'm going to try one more. Hello, B. B. I. Man, I heard fine, man, and I was just talking at him, but man, you stepped up there by radio. Oh, Mr. B. B. I. Jimmy, I'll tell you, Team Jimmy Headquarters, North Carolina, buddy. Radio. Now, there are some numbers. There are some numbers. There's somebody that finally decided to come up and put my needle all the way over at 50. Jimmy. In Jimmy headquarters. What's going on, Brigga? Uh, uh, hey, we be out. Not a whole lot, my friend. I just walked out here in the shop and I heard, I heard some commotion in my radio and I thought I'd key down a couple of times. Hey, Mr. BBI, Jimmy, Team Jimmy Headquarters, North Carolina. I'm right back. Homeboy, you're in. My radio is so damn hot at the moment. I had to reach over. I had to add 10 dBs of attenuator in my receiver. You're starting to crackle. You're making my radio freak out. Jimmy, a Team Jimmy, way deep in the pump, you can tell by just listening to your audio. Damn it, son. You got the hammer out there today, Becca. Stop trying to call him. Tim, I don't know that, my friend. Well, I certainly appreciate it, man. Now, you sound the song kind of good back here in the headquarters yourself, my friend. I hope all is well. I see you got the, uh, the, get the heat kit all put together. <laughs> hey, man, yeah. Jimmy's right back. Come on. Hey, Jimmy, I got to tell you, man, my friend that used to work at Heathkit there, the guy that was in the part two of that segment, he called me last night and he goes, man, I want to tell you something. I said, what's that? He goes, man, I want to tell you, welcome to the Honorary Heathkit Builders Club. And I said, honorary? And he goes, well, yeah, you've only built one from a kit. Now you got to go build a couple more to get the master class level. I just started laughing. I said, brother, I've repaired more of them things. He goes, I don't count. <laughs> I'm the honorary Heathkit member now. Whoopee! <laughs> I was excited. I was actually flattered. He's uh, he's going to fill out one of the official Heathkit uh, QSO cards and send it to me. He goes, there's not very many of them left. They haven't made them, you know, for like 40 years. I thought that was pretty cool. But, Jimmy, I appreciate you following along on the YouTube channel. That was a fun build. I really enjoyed getting to do that. 410? Yeah, Tim Roger on that, my friend. Well, I, I'm glad you got a chance to do it, and I'm glad they put you up there as an honorary member, man. Uh, but uh, it's an honorary builder's original kit builder membership. It's a little different, I guess, man. It was an original kit. And hey, I, I guess that's a different come on. I don't know, man. I didn't have the heart to tell him that the next project I got coming out, next major one, is a four-tube Heath kit. <laughs> we all know where that sucker's going to work. Four, Ted? Yeah, right, you know that, man. I heard that idea. Well, I tell you, he'll probably be real interested in that one. Uh, he probably hadn't seen a, a four-tube. Probably hadn't seen that four-tube put together on a natural original kit. Hey, BBI, I'm right back. Jimmy, I don't know about that, brother. I was talking with him on the phone. He proceeds to tell me that he's like real good friends with Gil. <laughs> I think he's been there, done that, got that T-shirt, and wore, wore it to church on Sunday. You know what I'm saying, 410? I know exactly what you're saying, man. So uh, this, this was, in other words, this wasn't his first rodeo. <laughs> He's been, a while, he's been around a while to see that these kids come and go, Breaker Breaker. Exactly. Not his first time at the rodeo. Like I said, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, wore it to church on Sunday. Yep. 
on. Goes out with brunch with the boys every Saturday morning with it on. Now, he's a very smart guy. <laughs> Talking with him on the phone, he's like, well, every time I get one of them bigger, I, I ask him, I says, so what's the biggest amp you ever built? And he goes, man, I built so many. He goes, every time I get one, I put together one of these guys around here shows up and I got to buy it. And he goes, I never get to talk on them. I was like, huh? Well, uh, it's the burden of the builder, right? Man, you are exactly right. BBI, you said a mouthful right there, man, because uh, I just built this one for myself. This was my, uh, this was my retirement build here, but I don't think it's going to be around long. It might. Then again, it might not, right? Like. Jimmy, I got to tell you, I've been out here talking all morning long. I probably got a 30 or 40 minute gate ready to <clears throat> go at it together here in a minute. You're going to be at the tail end of it. But you are putting by far, hands down, the biggest numbers I've seen all day long in my radio. And you know how that goes. The guy could be doing 7.7 .7 jillion watts. And if ain't Mother Nature going to let her play up the skirt, ain't none of us going to get none of that action. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Mother Nature's got us a pipeline. You're looking up one leg, seeing the inside of the skirt, and I'm looking down the other leg, looking, seeing up the inside of the skirt. We got a pipeline. Oh, boy. You are transmitting fine style here today. Now, remember, Mother Nature's sloppy. She'll give it up to anybody, anytime, anywhere. As long as you got that 2 by 4 strapped to your ass, you're good to go. Dive deep, my friend, and enjoy the ride. Roger. That's the only way to do it. Hey, BBI, that's the only way to do it, my friend. Uh, when Mother Nature shows up, you just got to be ready. Uh, it's called a menage matois. <laughs> hey, BBI, that's called a menage matois, baby. <laughs> I call it a team effort. <laughs> hey. If one of you guys finds the keys to my Cadillac I parked up in here last week, will you hand them to me and we'll all hop in we can drive on out of her? Because we've all been that deep inside Mother Nature before. A 410? Yeah, Roger on there, my friend. I understand. No doubt about it. <laughs> well, Mother Nature is good, man. Uh, she got you looking real good in my transceiver here, man. And, uh, boy, I just love it when she do that. I hadn't had a chance to get on this thing that much. Max Y.L. been sick, but she's having a good day today. Hey, BBI, I'm right back. Well, good days are always a pleasure, man. We got to be grateful for the good days that we get. People ask me all day long, they call me on the 21. And the very first thing they ask me, hey, man, how you doing? It's not that they really know or were interested or anything. This is their start a conversation. And I always answer the same way. I'm doing better than I deserve. Man, I'm sorry to hear your, uh, I'm sorry to hear your better half's been having some health issues, but thank God she's having a good day today, and we were able to get out here and get a little bit of talk time on our equipment. It's been so long since we got decent mother nature like this, my friend, I gotta tell you. I was getting worried that the spiders were going to start building a nest up inside my box, and I was going to have to go in there and blow it out. But after this little test run that we've done here this afternoon, I think we're in top shape, top form. Jimmy, I got to tell you, old boy, if you built that box for somebody else, it's got the best radio check money can buy. You'll see it. You'll hear it on the gate. And you'll be able to, you'll be able to point to it. Say, man, that's your amp right there. Because you know and I know you're going to sell that duck puck of 410. Man, it's booty. Yeah, right, my friend. Well, you know, uh, all days above that is a good day, man. So uh, I just praise him for all of that. But, uh, BBI, you said it right, man. I put everything top shelf in here because this is my little toy. Well, I do that to all my amps. But I put a little special love in this one. Hey, BBI, this money green big block. I'm right back. We 
well, you know how it goes. You put a little bit more love into the thing that you're going to keep yourself. Because you're like, you know what, I'm only going to get one or maybe two shots of doing this. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to do it my way. I know that feeling. I sit here in this room as I'm talking to you now, and I'm looking down at the end of this room, and I got this giant, giant black cabinet the size of two refrigerators sitting at the end of the room. And I know exactly what you're talking about. Because God knows it's full of the special sauce. But then again, I share that sauce quite often, as you know, because you watch the YouTube channel. Hey, Jimmy, it's been a pleasure with you, man. I'm going to let it go, and I'm going to step away. Take a hot minute, walk up in the house, check on the old lady, see what's going on, get a quick drink of water. If Mother Nature's still here when I return, I'll talk to you then. Hey, Jimmy, it's been fun, big brother. I appreciate you, man. Give me a shout on the 21 sometime. I'd love to BS with you. The landlord of seven states of this great nation. The gatekeeper to the entire northwest corner. B. B. I. Got down. Don't know the power of the dark side. B. B. I. I certainly appreciate it, my friend. And I'm going to go on and back it up, because Mother Nature looks like she's changing a little bit, man. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and back up, and I'm going to do a couple of little things in here, then I'm going back and check on Mama and the grandbaby. Take care, man. God bless. I tell my friends at EPD, I talk to you. Always a pleasure. Hey, BBI, running the biggest Jimmy built on the East Coast. I'll see you. Bye. The largest single tube air cooled amplifier this side of the United States on this side of the Mississippi. Hey, Jimmy, God bless Peter at EPD. Think of where we'd be without him. I'll see you. Click, click, click. No true words have been spoken, man. No true words have been spoken. Take care, my friend. I'll put it on you later. I'm going to ease this, uh, this big old amp up. And let the band play on. Hey, Mr. BBI, I'm 10-6. I'll see you. Here I am. While you're way out there in the corner, 
Look at old 525. I'm sitting here in the dirty side of Buffalo, New York, and I got down, down, down. Well, I know where you're at, my Doug. Have you figured out who you're talking to yet, Choke Chain? I'm just being kind of curious. I'm just kind of poking, poking the bear and finding out if you even know who you're talking to. And hey, Choke Chain, I'll give you a clue. Don't know the power of the dark side. Hey, maybe I. I called you deep side. I knew who it was from the first time you keyed that thing down. L O D B D B I. O five twenty five. Shooter, break up, break up. I don't believe you and I have ever spoke on the radio before. I said I don't believe you and I have ever spoke on the radio before, my friend. But man, it's good to hear you up in my receiver. In choke chain. I just wanted to slide out here and screw up your receive. If you hear 63 in your radio, Mr. Homie to Cloud, one more time today. You tell him I said hello. Your friend out here cruising Bud Duck Watts got down. Here I am. Hey, maybe I, I don't know if he's skiing. I do not know if 63 is skiing, but you wanted me to wave the 4 and 4, 4 and 1. Hey, BBI, hey, uh, 0525, the choke. Hey, BBI, hey, the choke ain't no joke, and I saw ya, break ya, break ya. Now, when you get you to quit licking electrical outlets and shoving your fingers in the sockets, I think we'd be in a way better position. What do you think, Choke? Much better. Don't bring it up. Much better. Bye-bye. All right, my friend. Hey, you be good. Hey, Joe Chain, I appreciate you, my friend. You be good. Have a great afternoon. Enjoy your weekend. I got you all the way down there about 7, and you were all the way up there at about 30, so I think we're losing Mother Nature. So I'll throw the wave at you, Mr. Choke Chain. You have a beautiful day. Be good, be well. I'll catch you again later on, my friend. Me and this old giant piece of steel on this side of Mississippi got down. My, hey, maybe I ain't all that strong. I'm only working as another brand new bill. That's all I'm doing. But don't tell them, don't tell them why I'm working these two. G-84s. Two G-84s built by Mr. 525 himself. Hey, BBI, the man with the chain, and I saw you now. Bye-bye. Well, that's all you're stroking out there, homeboy. You're making a trip. Couple thousand mile long radio check, bro. But I hate to break it to you. You're going up on the gate for today. So that means at least I don't know, a couple thousand people are going to know what you up to. Hey, Choke, roll it back here and come talk to the masses. The line level audio gate is rolling, and you're on the front doorstep, and it's your podium. Go. Now, BBI. Hey, BBI, old 525 asking nicely not to tell them what I'm doing. I asked you very, very nicely to not let them know what I'm doing with this brand new build. Good morning, good afternoon time once again, BBI. Oh, five, 25. <laughs> hey, BBI, I'm working these two GU-84s built by me right back. Break up. Break up. Yeah, I don't know very many people can get up on the Super Bowl and say that they built their whole station like you and me. I mean, they're out there, don't get me wrong. It's just few and far in between. A hey, choke. Decided to let you know. Sitting here running all my own built equipment. And I wear that on my shoulder like a badge. A hey, choke. You ain't no joke. I'll see you. Bye. Don't know the power of the dark side.
joke. I'm just sitting here listening to the ether, brother. Can you hear Prime Minister in the background? I guess he's going to Georgia. I pointed at you. But I was just wondering if you could hear Prime Minister in my background or not. It hey, show BBI being nosy, brigger. Blanket, 
you be good, my friend. And like I said, reach over and smack Dave on the ass. Tell him to quit being so damn lazy. I gotta go pick the solder and iron up myself and get back to work. But Mother Nature's fading on you boys in New York. I'm gonna take my beam and go on down south. You guys have a good day. Be safe. Don't like to get yourself. Remember, don't stick your fingers where you won't stick your dick. I'll see you. Bye bye. <laughs> Boy, you more fun than a barrel of monkeys, BB. I ain't lying to you, man. We over here getting busy. So I'm going to have to step wide to the side myself, man. Happy Thanksgiving up and coming. Catch you later, BB. Worldwide, Mr. DX Blanket. Solid State Day made transmitter. Officially 10-7. Enjoy this West Coast talk show. Lucio Prime
oh boy, I've been out here talking all morning long. My day started out in downtown Houston, Texas. I was talking to Big Boss. Man, he sounded good this morning. I've had the gay rolling all morning long. Then Mother Nature fell out, and then it came all the way back, dude. All of a sudden, the next thing I know, I got choke chain coming in. We're up there around the Garden State. And then the next thing I know, I'm talking to Dave Maid on the radio. Oh, Sidewinder. And one of his prodigal students, they were sitting there working on stuff. <laughs> next thing you know, I'm talking to the Great Lakes. So, brother, I'm going to tell you. If you jumped in your truck, did 800 miles an hour all the way home, got stopped by the cop, told him, don't talk to me, i got to get home and talk to Prime Minister on the radio, the odds are pretty good. And if you give it a couple minutes, my teacher, my mentor, and my friend is going to put his foot right in my ass and key on me because Mother Nature's going to move. But right here, right now, it's just you and me. Derail. This big old duck in the corner with no audio got down. Hey, uh, BB, I haven't seen more than about uh, uh, maybe a couple of uh, pounds over S9 in my receiver. Hey, BB, I ain't seen nobody maybe a, a couple DB over S9 in my receiver, and you climbing up here about 30, 40, 50, 60 DB over S9, and you got it locked up, jam jelly tight, and nobody was even in the ballpark. Hey, BB, I, nobody was even within a range. <laughs> hey, uh, BB, I... You got it by a mile in my receiver, and I can't hear a dub plug or not a narrow one but you. Hey, BBI, D-Rail said real good copy, and I'm on nothing but a driver. I'm right back. Lord have mercy on 27.025 when you finally decide to hit that big box. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> I need to call around the 21 so we can get an update on that situation. I'm not going to lie to you, homeboy. I've been so busy I haven't even been able to, like, think about anything other than what I've been working on. Man, I, dude, busy doesn't even really describe it, to be honest with you. But, man, you telling me I got your radio so up, tied up, locked up in the corner. Well, you know what they say, d -Roll? The sunshine always shines every once in a while on a dog's ass, too. You know what I'm saying? I think it's lucky. Either that or Mother Nature just smiling on us today, knowing that we've been starving, trying to get our coaxial fix up here in the corner. You boys been down there talking your asses off. I know. I see the gates. I see them. I give them a little thumbs up. Then I sit quietly in the corner crying, going, I wish I could get some of that action, too. But here we are right now. You today, you, me, 27.025, burning a couple hundred amps every single time we key down, derail in Georgia. Bad man talking to another bad man talking. Man, don't fucker, don't do that. You scared me. Don't do that. Derail is at 50 right now. And you flat out slammed a needle on a stop peg. If my digital meter had a stop peg. <laughs> No, I ain't bragging. I'm telling a duck fucking truth. It's like Kid Rock said, man. It ain't cocky if you back it up. I said, it's not cocky if you back it up. And that duck fucker is building some of the baddest radios on the planet right now. You know it. I know it. Everybody else knows it. What's going on, my friend? Mr. King of the South. The gatekeeper to the northwest corner sitting at the front door of these seven states. My kingdom. Put the weave right back to you. Hey, BBI, I'm going to come back to you, King of the South, because I heard you get up. But I got to tell you this, King of the South. Now, this is honest to God the way it rolled, okay? because you walked him down. 
He fired down, you fired down. d Rose says, man, I'm going to try and run with the king of the south. BB, I'm going to try and run with the king of the south. BB, I'm going to... Then it turned into a train wreck. <laughs> hey, King of the South, I'm just telling you the honest to God truth. That's what happened in my radio. I got the gate to prove it. You walked him down, brother. That's why I fired down as soon as you come up. Now, I'm telling you what. You guys want to go a couple rounds. Hold on. Let me put on a, let me put on a referee shirt, and I'll get the rape whistle out. Hold on a second. Let's make sure our beam's in the right position. Our gate is recorded. Let's go. Derail. King of the South. BBI. Fight on. Fight on. Fight on. Let's go. Hey, uh, BBI 357 Tennessee trying to get up in the mix. Oh, three five seven. You were in there for just a hot second, brother. Then the king of the south took soul control of my radio one more time. With D Rail hot on his clipping tail, man. You tell my radio technician I got the room for him. <laughs> At least that's what I pulled out of the mess on the headphones. Hey, the king of the south, brother. And no, I'm not going to wait on him, bro, because you were over the top. Just rolling it as I heard it. But d was right there behind you since you come off the ball. Neck and neck almost, but you rolled right over the top just by a hair. A little pubic hair at that, but it is what it is. You still come out on top. King of the south, d Your Your friend in the corner, calling it. Let's go. <laughs> I had a soul key, man. And there's somebody sitting right behind you on FM. It didn't make no sense. I just want to catch it on the audio. Well, the king of the south, I will roll it along, my friend. I'll let him know. A derail. Homeboy out there says he's got some work for you. And that you are his radio technician. His Cobra 2000 is down, and he'll be by to see you soon. I just roll it along. Now, you did not say I got to go back and I got to I gotta edit what I said before. I thought you said that you had to wood for him. No, 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 not like you're going to take him to the woodshed and beat him up. No, you got work for him. <laughs> I stand corrected. You stood all by yourself. Hey, King of the South, this thought you ought to know? And derail. Just rolling the five alone. He says he's got some work for you. 410? Hey, I appreciate it on that, Tammy. And BBI, you wrote it like I told it to be for that pretty sure. That Tammy is 10 8 my Tammy. Now what a mess. King of the South, you said, homeboy, that, that guy is 10-8 for Duck Buck and Shoa. And I can't agree with you more. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to the RF universe around Georgia once he decides he's going to quit running his driver. I don't know what's going to happen. There's no prediction for it. We've all seen it. Have you guys all seen it? I've seen it. Got this tower he had to have, like, helicoptered into his backyard just for his omnidirectional, like, 300 feet in the air, right? Beam on the biggest damn crank-up tower money can buy. Coax bigger than your leg running out to both antennas. I don't know what he's building for. But, man, that boy's going to have some heavy artillery when he comes to the band. Hey, King of the South? He's a 10 8 duck booker, but he's going to go bigger, and you and I both know it. Thought I'd roll it along just the way it is. Hey, derail. Hats off to you, brother. Because I know what you're doing on a driver, and you are giving King of the South a run for his money. BBI in the corner. We're all living in talk time. On the largest air cooled amplifier this side of the Mississippi. Single tube, that is. And I got down. Hey, BBI, sound like you want to follow us on that cabin. You were 
of the people of the world out there on this cabinet, you tell them that cabinet give me a run for my money. I turn derail on my technician. The king of the south said, I'm the one that turned derail on my technician. Take care of the BBI, so king of the south, not coming back, I'm down. I'm telling you what, brother, he is not far behind. But I'm rolling back every word you said, because you're rolling over the top. The gate will prove it. And you said you you are the one that turned derail onto your technician. And I know exactly what you mean by that. <laughs> and I mean exactly what you mean by I know what you're saying. Brother, I know. I'm in the pipeline too, my friend. We're both working for the same goal for the same guy. 410? In BBI, that's what I'm talking about. It ain't, ain't no shame in my game, you know what you're saying? And no mystery to my history. Don't be the best sure. Yeah, I don't want to get 10. I thought I was going to hit the B real get 10 8. I turn him on in my technician, no doubt about it. Take care of BBI, so King of the South. Now come in back. I'm stepping. I'll see you, big homie. Well, guys, the fight's off. It did not go any more than maybe a couple of rounds. I'm going to take the shirt off, hang the whistle back up on the wall, and I'm going to reach over here and hit stop on the gate. I'm going to fold up shop, go walk up in the house and see what the missus is doing. This has been a fun afternoon. Laying the wood down on 27.025. Hey, D-Rail. Have fun whooping ass, brother. Hopefully my teacher, my mentor, and my friend will come on back out here and maybe you guys will get a little bit of Mother Nature because God knows you got a speeding ticket trying to get home to get in his receiver. And the king of the south, I'll see you, my friend. Appreciate you, brother. Be well. My name is BBI, and I'll see you. Click, click, click. You don't know the power of the dark side. Oh, daddy, we're going to show up, though. And they will know soon. General, the people I enjoyed on this coming in, you know Mabel and all the good men must come in. Yeah, I'm stubborn. Yeah, D-Rail said King of the South is my hero. I tell him nothing but respect. I'm reading them out. I'll roll that five. I'll roll it with no shame and a big smile on my face. The King of the South. D-Rail says you're his hero. No doubt. Nothing but love and respect is what he said. I'll see you, boys. You guys have a good day. And if I don't get to talk to you before Thanksgiving next week, but maybe we'll get to do it on the day. We'll see. You guys have a good one. Click, click, click. Thank you, BBI. I tell you, we're the king of the south, so I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I will 1121 later on this afternoon. No doubt about that. Take care, BBI. I want you to get signed, sir. So, king of the south, so king of the south. Bye bye. Wrong. Hey, yo, BBI, I got a little Facebook feed for you so you can check it out later on, too. Take care, BBI. Derail out the way. Make sure to check out the live feed. I appreciate it, brother. And like I said, you're going to be at the tail end of this gate. It's going to be a long gate, about 40, 50 minutes, but you're on the tail end of that. And the King of the South told me to tell you he will be calling you later today, no doubt about it. Gentlemen, my hat's off to both you guys. Appreciate it. Be well. I'm back quiet. I'll see you. Click, click, click. I got the five, I got the five, I got the five. Take care, BBI. Derail around the tip top of Georgia, standing on by. Hello, BBI. Stop right in the Carolinas. BBI. Contact, don't get back on B. B. I. Wipe our wish. Hey, 
and wattage rules. And rule number four, if you're a complete moron, refer to rules number one and rules number two. 410? <laughs> You guys have a good afternoon. I appreciate both you gentlemen. Be well. Me and this little old giant piece of steel I got over here in Idaho. Got down. Don't know the power of the dark side. Yeah, BBI, so king of the south, so king of the south. Not coming back. I'm stepping. Well, I guess the pipe is leaking. 